In 1954, the stepdaughter of David L. Brainerd of the ill-fated 1881 Greeley expedition made a strange discovery. Buried in the bottom of her father's trunk, wrapped in a cloth, was a long, narrow notebook. Secreted away for 70 years was Brainerd's original number 11 field diary. In 1884, when the starving Greeley party was rescued under strict orders, the bodies of the deceased were sealed in iron coffins with 52 bolts forbidden to be opened. When rumors of cannibalism began to splash across the headlines, the family of fallen Lieutenant Kinsleyberry demanded the body be exhumed. To the undertaker's horror, the remains weighed a mere 50 pounds, the flesh clearly carved away by a knife post-mortem. Despite this, the surviving Greeley party vehemently denied any cannibalism. However, when Brainerd's original diary was transcribed, it was discovered that his published accounts had omitted a few select entries. On June 4th, 12 men having starved to death, Brainerd wrote, An arrangement made between the commanding officer, four others, and myself, by which our condition will be ameliorated. Could this be proof of consensual cannibalism?